Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out of the game. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterfly. When you start rapping like that. Chia Chia had to spin the block, flow harder than a cinder block. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Just leaving the gym, heading home. Got some merchandise orders to work on tonight and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Ultimate Rap League. Salute to Ultimate Rap League. Everything that they got going on personally and professionally. They just had the event Summer Madness 10 where you had a bunch of dope battles on there. And today, Bill Collector vs. Holmesy dropped. That was cool. It was a cool little battle. It wasn't too crazy. And then they released an announcement that the whole event will drop on Monday. Now, I know that a lot of some people would think that this is big news. Other people would be like, oh, what does that mean? Let me tell you what that means. That means we can see all the battles from Summer Madness again without having apps for that, without having to get the link from a man who got it from a man who got it from the bootleg man and i think this is dope the reason why i think this is dope is because now you can probably hopefully let's hope they keep the same energy and keep these events coming out fast because to be honest for the last couple months a lot of the battles that we were getting on the app were battles that we just saw so we're literally paying to watch battles that we saw and the app really was like, it was cool, but I would see a lot of people like, I'm getting rid of this app. Just just keeping it honest. I kept it, I stayed the course, but it wasn't a lot of new battles dropping. Just like, you would literally stretch the product because you had an event, then for like the next week or so, or the next two, three weeks, all we're getting is one battle, one battle, one battle from the same event that we just saw. And a lot of the time, I'm not going to lie to you, I would, like, get a notification. I click it, see it was something I already saw, and I just exit right back out of it because I already saw it. Not only have I already saw it, I already recapped it. So by the time the battles come out on the app, they're not even, like, you know what I'm saying? They, they're not as hot as they was. They cool. Some of them are still fire, but a lot of them lost traction by the time they dropped because you don't waited three weeks to see a battle that was already on the Caffeine live stream. Um... I think that puts a little pressure on other leagues to step their shit up and get some more content out. Because honestly, a lot of these leagues, especially the ones that are still doing pay-per-views and things like that, they still using drop schedules where they'll drop them uh, every couple weeks or whatever the case may be. But if Ultimate Rap League is dropping the whole event within a couple days, a week after, that's big. That is big. And I want to know how y'all feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, is this... I, I think that to know that you're going to get the whole Summer Madness... some Madness? You're going to get the whole Summer Madness the week after or the whole Gnome or whatever the case may be the week after, that may make some cats go back to the app. Because what that means is now y'all going to be bringing us new content, newer battles. Because, you know, they had the Rooftop. Rooftop was bringing some dope app-exclusive battles. But I don't really know what's the situation with Avocado. I don't think they're going to be working with him no more. So they'll probably find another way to bring some exclusive shit. I heard Jack Boy Main battled against Craig Lamar. I heard Big Hand battle Swave Seva. I heard Cuban battle Young Cannon. Uh, and some other shit like that. So we'll probably be getting some of the newer guys' battles too. But I definitely feel like overall, this is good for battle rap to have the whole event come out sooner because we're waiting monday old battle wednesday old battle friday old battle next monday old battle i was like fuck 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 i'm sick of this shit there would be days i wouldn't even check to see what dropped because i already knew it was something that uh already came out you know maybe they could go back to band yeah there, there's a couple battles that i wouldn't mind seeing on band I know Swamp said he don't want to battle T-Top no more. But a lot of y'all, a lot of people was trying to attribute that to his performance versus B-Dot. He came out on live today and said that he said that shit before the B-Dot battle. Like, he you know, he wasn't caring about it because he said he wasn't trying to wait two, three years or wait a bunch of months to try to build up hype 
you know how them niggas be behind the scenes and shit. Niggas will be like, yo, your catalog isn't there yet. You gotta continue to sell the fight. You know, you gotta fucking run a Boston Marathon and then sell Boy Scout cookies on Saturdays for eight Saturdays in a row. And after you sell Boy Scout cookies, you gotta start a, a car wash that sells lemonade for the general. Niggas would be like, man, fuck all that. I ain't doing all that shit for no battle. Give me somebody else. That's why you're supposed to take clean paper. But then both of them niggas didn't battle. So I don't know what happened with that shit. But to see that all of the battles on the app are going to stop dro start dropping at the same time, I definitely think that's a dope thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, and I feel like for the breakdown purposes, now we can have all of the joints because we do recaps to do recaps. But now we get all the battles where Showtime SP could jump into his recap bag and recap the battles accordingly. We're going to stop with the bets, though, like with the battle rapper bets. We're not, I'm not taking no more of those because I know how it goes with the rapper shit. Niggas will bet, want to bet. Showtime does an amazing job with the breakdown that niggas don't want to pay. So I'm not I'm not doing no more bets. We was going to do math. We was going to do KK. We was going to do beat out. We don't do all these battles. But we'll still do recaps, but I'm not going to put my man. Um, I'm not going to subject him to breaking down all these battles line for line for line for line. Niggas bet, and then they don't want to pay. So I ain't, I ain't fucking with it. We'll still do our thing. But we're not doing no extra shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's just something I don't want to subject my partner Showtime SP to. Because I ain't doing it. I ain't breaking down nobody battle line for line for line. Fuck that. I know I ain't doing it. But, you know, it takes a lot of work for him to do that. And I'm not going to have him doing that. So, all the battles dropping at one time. I definitely think it's a dope thing. I think the artists uh, could get their content out quicker. I know a lot of artists was mad about the YouTube shit, wondering why not. Bro, Battles is not going back to YouTube. Niggas can forget that. It ain't happening. Battles is not going to YouTube no more. Ultimate Rap League is not... You ain't gonna see no Battles on YouTube for a long-ass motherfucking time. Maybe maybe up to a year. Because if they dropping the shits on YouTube, niggas will be like, yo, fuck it, I ain't gotta get the app. Why am I gonna get the app if they're gonna be on YouTube in a month or two? Because you gotta understand, there's different levels of fans. You got top-tier fans, mid-tier fans, lower tier fans the lower tier fans are the niggas who's not getting no apps they're not buying no pay-per-views they not they not even really they not they in tune but they not really in tune like that like when big name niggas battle and that shit drop on youtube they're watching they're going with their life mid-tier fans them the niggas who you know they'll maybe have a little caffeine they might have downloaded the caffeine app they might not have even downloaded they don't even know about the app but they not, you know what I'm saying? They watch battle rap. They'll watch it with their peoples and shit like that. When it comes out on YouTube, they'll watch a couple bootlegs now and then. Those are mid-tier. Top-tier fans is niggas who's watching every motherfucking event. They watching every event. They watching this. Every, and if you watch me or watch blogs and shit, you a top-tier fan because you watch, you are really in tune with all of the pins and needles of what goes on in the battle rap culture. Niggas who are like mid-tier, they don't watch blogs, they ain't in tune with that shit, they don't know nothing about it. But the top-tier fans, the ones who's really like hanging on to this shit, helping, that's pushing the numbers and pushing it, like they not, they not doing all of that. And another thing is, you know, when it comes to the battle rap shit, the YouTube picked up a lot for like the media and the recaps and all of that shit, because a lot of people don't have the time to dedicate a whole Saturday to watching battle rap. Even though the events have been cut down, they've been condensed, they've, you know what I'm saying, they've streamlined the process, which has been phenomenal, I'm not gonna lie. Um, people still don't have the time to do it. Like, they just don't, because motherfuckers gotta work. Like, if you gotta work and you work like a job that works weekends and your hours is you working two to 12, you're not watching no motherfucking battle rap. Not the guys who can probably still watch it on their phone at work, but the niggas who got real, like them jobs that's, construction and line and warehouse niggas ain't getting to watch the battle so guess what they gotta do they gotta come to the recaps hope we get it right we get it wrong a lot remember that one uh but what i will say with the with the whole event dropping sooner that's definitely a dope thing and i can't wait to see that happen and hopefully this leads to more content more battles and more love you know what i'm saying for uh, for what we do um Besides that, what's up with this Tory Lane shit? Like, 
I don't I don't know the, the the everything about it and I figured I'd you know speak a little something because I got a platform. Tory Lanez is under scrutiny for allegedly, I'm just gonna say allegedly, allegedly shooting Meg the Stallion in the foot. Right? Allegedly. That's what they're saying. That's what she's saying. So he didn't make a statement. He didn't sit down with anybody. He didn't release anything. He drops an album. And a lot of people is like, man, I'm not streaming that shit one time. Why would he come out with an album? I seen Rick Ross say what he said. Rick Ross basically was like, Rick Ross is trolling him saying, you know, nigga, you shouldn't have came out with that shit while Breonna Taylor, you ain't getting no money off that shit. And, and things like that. What what do y'all think though? As as the fans of hip hop and do y'all did y'all listen to it? Are y'all actually peeping it? Cause I mean, I don't know. I just don't know what to think. You know what I'm saying? Like it's weird seeing that he actually comes out with a whole fucking album in the midst of everything that's going on. Like I I was like, damn. I thought it was kind of crazy. I was I, I mean I I heard I heard I heard I heard I had to skim through it to see what this shit was talking about. But it's literally 17 tracks. This nigga's doing 17 tracks talking about her. I'm like, ah, oh, no, nah, I can't. Uh, no, nah, I, I couldn't do it. I played like a couple of them joints. And I'm like, yo, this nigga really is making all these records about her. But he's not talking about it. But he's not saying. When you start rapping like that, is what I was saying. When this nigga start rapping like that. Uh, hopefully, you know, the, the true story will come out and niggas will really know what happened. But yeah, from what I heard. I was hearing that he said he was saying that he didn't do this shit, but they were saying that he got arrested for a gun and the same gun. I don't fucking know. What I really think happened, I'll be honest with you, what I really think happened, I think they got into it and I think he went to shoot the ground, you know what I'm saying? Like to send a warning shot and shit and whatever, you know, when you shoot the ground, the gravel chips, I think that shit is what here. I don't think he purposely like shot her in the foot. I think he was trying to like send a warning shot and the warning shot went bad. That's what I think. Like I said, I don't know. I'm just a nigga here talking about battle rap and I just wind up talking about something else because it was a relevant topic. Um, other than that, I think Jimmy Butler's going to the NBA finals tonight. Uh, Boston, Boston was a pretty good team during the regular season, but they just don't have that guy. And Miami has that guy and a couple more of them guys. Tyler Hero is balling like a motherfucking hero. Uh, Jimmy Buckets is going crazy. Bam Adebayo is going crazy. Duncan Robinson. They got my, Miami got too many weapons. Um, in the playoffs, when the rubber meets the road, the core of Boston just really isn't good enough to sustain what Miami can do. Tyler Hero scored 37. That's number one guy numbers. Jimmy Butler could score 37. Goran Dragic could score 37. Like, they got mad people who could score 30 or more. Boston has one, maybe two. Jalen, 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 Jason Tatum could score 30. Jalen Brown can score 30, but he ain't doing it in the conference finals. Get the, It's not going to happen in the conference finals. Uh, Kemba Walker could score 30, but it's probably not happening in the conference finals. Those are like the only two besides Jason Tatum who could score 30 in the conference finals. And when it comes to like the conference finals, that's the East Coast equivalent to the NBA finals. Them the games where the shots, the, the possessions get shorter, the tights get sh shots get tighter, and the motherfuckers who score 30 is few and far in between. But Miami? Oh, they got them young boys letting that motherfucker fly. Tyler Hero dropped 30 on your... He dropped 37 on him the other night, and he'll fuck around and drop 30 on him again tonight. And he only started eight games this year. That shit's crazy. I think that shit's crazy. Um, we'll see, though. But if it was my prediction, I predict Miami to win tonight and go to the NBA Finals and be waiting for the Lakers there. And I think the Lakers will win tomorrow night. Denver's a good team, but uh, they not fucking with my with the Lakers. Like, they, they, they not. The Clippers have, they showed, the Lakers showed the Clippers that that ain't this and this ain't that. Like, it's, a, it's different. It's levels to the shit. And they find it out real quick. Like, I respect the fact, and I know I'm just rambling about some shit now, but fuck it, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing to do. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. Follow me, my nigga. Follow me. Follow me. I respect the fact that LeBron James made it his personal business to defend Jamal Murray down the stretch. That shit means a lot. 
I've seen people lose series because they were unwilling to guard the superstar on the other team. Unwilling to guard the superstar on the other team. For whatever reason, I've seen this shit happen multiple times. And you'd be like, dog, why the fuck wasn't he guarding him? You know what I'm saying? That shit happened, um, that shit happened with Kawhi and them when they was um when they was in the other series. And Paul George and them. Niggas didn't when, when oh when um when Kawhi got burned by uh by Luka Doncic in the first round, when Luka hit that game winning and shit, they was letting Reggie Jackson or somebody, one of the motherfuckers who who wouldn't even be starting, guard him. You gotta take that challenge. The main star of the game has to take the challenge. You see how LeBron took that challenge last night? He was like, fuck that. If we losing, we losing on my back. I'm shutting this nigga down. Now, Jamal Murray did hit that nigga with the whoop-de-whoop. -whoop. He did hit him with the whoop-de-whoop. -whoop. But that's going to happen, though. Those type of layups, that shit's going to happen. It's going to, it will happen. If you, if you, if you guarding the best nigga on the floor, you're going you gonna to get crossed over. You're going to, you're going to get, you're going to get shimmy shammed. You're going to get in and out of You might fuck around and get dunked on. But the most important thing is the win. Um, if y'all want me to talk about more shit like sports and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? I I incorporate some of that shit. I was gonna do an actual sports YouTube channel, but but what I got going on, I just got too much shit going. I I, I would never have the time, you know what I'm saying? My family would be like, nigga, cut that motherfucking camera off, nigga. But if you want me to add some more of that type of shit in here, I will do it. Just let me know. Just say, yo, we need more. Say, give them more. Give them more, and I'll do it. Butterfly gonna recap this and say, God, he caught a thirty on the dime roll. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out in the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. When you start rapping like that, you rap with blind times. Can't trust them around. This should be the mob times. Yo, love.